these uh, artifacts are not mere artworks. They are actually part of daily life of the people. It has to do with their ritual, it has to do with their you know, political status, the objects have to do with their you know, ritual performance and so many things. So it's not just about you know, the artistic genius. And therefore, if this is part of their daily life, associated with their daily life, so you can imagine when these objects are not there, the people will now see that there is something missing, part of them, part of their history, part of their culture that is missing. And that is why the Benin people and Nigeria is always asking for these objects to go back to Benin so that they will be able to now uh, understand you know, about their history, about their culture, especially the youth that uh, have not seen these objects and therefore it is time for them to see and understand about their past. So we have been making our cases that we want these objects back, we want uh, our you know, uh, artifacts returned to us so that uh, we'll be able to uh, understand about our history and about our culture. But they are saying that no, they are not willing to give it back. But also, they are giving some excuses, flimsy excuses, that we don't have the you know, capability to now you know, uh, look after these objects. We don't have the you know, infrastructure to house these objects and so on. But, you know, a lot of us ask these questions. Where were these objects before they were being taken out of the country? Were they not looked after? Were they not there? So these objects were illegally taken out of the country. And I think uh, we feel that the museums and countries that have uh, held these objects for so long have moral obligation now to support us also you know in building our own you know facilities where we are going to house these objects but uh, it's just a moral thing but if they don't want we will also have the you know resources to find how we can build these museums of course and so that our people will be able to now access our research can continue and also we welcome uh, you know uh, researchers from outside and visitors from outside the country to come and see these objects These objects, when they came into these museums, they are kept in storage. And many people have not seen these objects. So what they have is just a representative display, a few objects that are on display. But most of these objects are in storage. So it's now a great opportunity that Hamburg is giving for people now to see that, oh, this is the object we have in our possession you know, for all these decades. And therefore, we want to display it so that you'll be able to come and see that these objects are going back to uh, their rightful owners. So I think uh, it's an opportunity for the German population to come and see these objects, have a last glimpse of it, and then uh, before they leave the country. But I said, as I was saying that, you know, we are museum institutions and we are open to collaboration because now that we are obtaining the legal ownership transferred to us will now dictate as to how we want these objects to be related to you, how we want these objects to be jointly you know, exhibited by us, how we want these objects to be given on loan, and what are the terms of the loans and so on. So we are now being in a position now to dictate this. So that is the whole idea.